Hello, curls. It's Yolanda Renee, and today we are talking about Jamaican black castor oil. You guys loved my coconut oil video, so I had to come to you guys with my other favorite oil. So definitely stay tuned and learn a thing or two about thickening your hair, growing your hair, and just making it healthy overall. The brand that I like to use is the Tropic Isle Live-In Jamaican Black Castor Oil and I've shown this to you in probably the last few videos because honestly you guys I just started using it. I think I've been using it for about a month now um, and I've definitely seen a lot of change. Um, basically you guys know I love wearing my head wraps right? Um, so I always have my head wraps forward and then you know the turban the knot part of it it's kind of like always in the same section so it was always right in the center. So I started to notice that my hair right here started to kind of like thin out on the on the edges you know what I mean um so I decided to start using that on that section but instead of just doing that section I also put it on the perimeter of my hair you know all the way around the edges and then I also started putting it in the parts of my hair too and then massaging it in um and I've definitely seen a big difference um but we'll get into that in a little bit um so basically okay so what is black castor oil right or jamaican black castor oil or castor oil just in general ba basically taken from a castor seed so the castor seed plant is typically in Jamaica that's why it's like Jamaican black castor oil so it's typically in Jamaica that's where the plant is but of course I know that people grow them everywhere now um, but the way it's processed is usually still like the Jamaican way I don't even know the whole process <laughs> and I don't even want to get that deep into it um, I just know that I love this oil so basically it's process where you strip the oils from the seed um, so there's different kinds of oil castor oil so first there's like the yellow tinted castor oil and that is exactly what this oil looks like I'm gonna pour a little bit in this cap so you can see the color So as you can see, the color of it is kind of like a yellow tint. And notice how thick it is. It's so thick, you guys. Which yellow is pretty much like, um, yellow is like the purest form of castor oil. And that's what we want. We want the purest form because we want to get all the benefits from this amazing oil. Um, so yes, the yellow tint the purest then you have like the clear like water clear like clear castor oil which you usually can find that like in the pharmacy section i've seen it in the pharmacy section and when i first went natural and heard about this through janelle of kinky curly coily me because she has a castor oil challenge each um each season i did the graphics for that by the way <laughs> um but yeah so she has a challenge each season and i was thinking about joining it because i did the graphics and then you know learned more about it so I was like oh maybe I should do this um so I went to like Walmart in the pharmacy section and the only castor oil I saw it was clear and I didn't know I was like this just doesn't seem right you know um so basically the clear form of it has been processed it goes through a process where it takes the iodine um content out of it so it basically gets that yellow um color out and makes it clear and of course they probably use chemicals for that process 
this. So as a natural, stay away from the clear one. I really think that it's really for like digestive problems because I think when I read the back of it, it says that you can drink it if you are constipated. So yeah, I wouldn't put the clear on your hair. So I don't know how true that is, but just stay away. Um, and then there's the Jamaican black castor oil where, oh my gosh, like I think Sunny Isle um, claims to have like the darkest form of this castor oil um, but I've read online like a few people have researched that um, the process it goes through to have that dark color from Sunny Isle is um, they roast the seeds and ground them up and you know then takes it then take the oil from the seeds and then somehow because of that process the ash content is higher from them roasting it you know longer and grounding it up so yes it's darker but is it still is it pure I don't think so it just seems like it's just adding something to this oil so it has the oil but then it has the ash content from them roasting it so that's what makes it darker so they, like I said, I think they claim that the darker it is, the more pure it is. But to me, it just sounds like they're adding something to it's it. It's kind of confusing because it says black, right? So you would think that it has to be black. But no, <laughs> it's not black. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So the brand that I choose is um, Tropic Isle Living. And it's very affordable. I'll leave the link in the description box if you want to try this out. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about how you can use this oil. At the beginning of this video, I showed you how how I use the castor oil on my edges and also in the parts of my hair and I massage it in gently with my fingertips. That's usually where you have the most tension, you know, um, and you don't want bald edges. <laughs> so I usually put it on the edges of my hair. I put it in the parts of my hair, like when, uh, when my hair is already twisted up at night, then I will just put the oil in between my scalp and, I mean, the parts, and then I'll massage it in to make sure it gets everywhere. Um, but also, you can do this, you can use it on your entire head. Um, in my porosity video, remember that I talked about, you know, if you have high porosity hair or if you have damaged hair, the hair cuticle kind of like lifts up. So that's why your hair may look frizzy. So I suggested that you use thicker oils, butters, and creams. So a thicker oil is definitely castor oil. This, it is so thick, it's almost like syrup. Like that's how thick this oil is. So this will be great for your high porosity hair or if you have, um, you know, 4C hair where you need to use thicker butters and oils and stuff, um, this will help the hair cuticle close. It'll help fill in those gaps. If you have damaged hair, um, it'll fill in those gaps so your hair will be nice and silky and just frizz-free. So yes, this is a great oil for high porosity and damaged hair or 4C really dry hair. This will help you out so much. It'll help out all hair types, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you're high porosity and you're having trouble with frizz this oil may help you um, so another way you can use it is you can use it as um, a pre poo or a hot oil treatment just like any other pre poo what you'll need is you will need the oil you can use an applicator bottle if you don't want to be messy you will need to massage your scalp and then cover your entire head with a plastic cap or a Walmart bag if you're like me. And just keep this on for about 30 minutes. So, and then you can go about your business like your normal wash day. Just go in there and start washing. Um, and then, like I said, you can use this as a sealant. You can use it as a moisturizer. Not solely as a moisturizer, but you can. it can help with the moisturizing process. Um, so yeah, so those are the ways you can use it. Pre-poo, hot oil treatment, sealant, moisturizer. It's amazing, right? So now that you know how to use it, you're probably like, okay, why am I using it, <laughs> right? Jamaican black castor oil has been proven as a healing oil. It moisturizes your hair and scalp. It promotes hair growth. It thickens the hair. It strengthens the hair. And it increases the blood flow, especially to your scalp.
The only con that I could think of is this oil will make your hair grow so much. It'll grow thicker, darker, and longer, right? And it usually works where you already have hair follicles. So, <laughs> if you're using it like on your scalp and you know your edges if you have like sideburns and of course this oil is going to kind of like seep into your skin and your pores and stuff so if you have sideburns and you don't want them to grow thicker you might be out of luck because it's going to go down there and it's going to make your sideburns grow in thicker and darker um, and longer and that goes for any facial hair if you have like facial hair anywhere on your face if this oil gets there <laughs> It's going to grow like crazy. Um, so I have hair like, I have hair on my knuckles, you guys. So I'm really worried about that because, of course, the oil all on my fingers and stuff. What if it makes my knuckle hair grow? Am I the only one who has hair on their fingers? It's so embarrassing. I shave it. <laughs> But yes, I have hair here. You can see it. But anyway, so yeah. Um, so also, if you have a mustache, if that oil gets all down here, it's, it's just going to make your hair grow everywhere. Wherever there's hair follicles, it's going to enhance it. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only kind I could think of is that. And definitely stay away from the clear one. Um, but yeah. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so... The smell is a con as well. <laughs> the smell. <sighs> to me, it sounds like burning tar. Like, you know, like when when they redo the blacktop outside or whatever, and it's like that burning smell, and it's just like, ugh. It smells like that. Um, so, yeah, it really stinks, but the smell doesn't stay. It's just if you smell it directly out of the bottle or when you first put it on your hair, it just stinks, but it goes away. But still, so I've heard of some different options you can do. I have this lavender oil here. I heard that if you put a few drops of this in here, it will, you know, the smell will be better. And then... Tropic Isle has another, they have different variations of this, so you can get it where it already has the lavender smell. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other smells, I don't know all of them on the top of my head, but you can get it where it's a different scent, because it is a very strong, like, oh my fro, like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Um, if I missed anything, definitely go to my blog and you can check out the blog post because I probably will have more information there. Um, but I definitely wanted to come to you guys because some people don't like, you know, reading and stuff. So I wanted to come to you guys and let you know um, what my thoughts are on castor oil i really think it's helping my hair so yeah let me know if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and feel free to use my graphics you guys I've, i did some graphics for the castor oil like my research on it um so yeah feel free to use those on your blog on your social media just tag me or shout me out please do that i will love you forever um but yeah until um until my next video Goodbye, girls. Mwah. Happy growing.